Hello everyone! Um, from the webinar that we did the other day, there was loads of questions based on lesson three. So what I decided to do is put all the questions together in this unique video. So if you do have any questions, check out this video and you might find your question has already been answered. Will the webinar invites always be on Edmodo? Um, honestly, it's easier for me if they are. Would you prefer them via email? In fact, this is going to get me a flood. Um, put your hand up if you would rather be emailed the webinar link. Okay, cool. Yeah, a fair few of you. Uh, can I do both? I can, but it's a little bit of effort. But you know, you're worth it. So I'm going forward and um, that I put a link on Edmodo and on your email address. Okay. Question coming in, what do we do when our school books run out of paper and have no lined paper? Um, you can type it into a Word document if you like. Still don't understand the experiment. Is there just oxygen in the syringe or others as well? Um, it's it's just air, just air with the oxygen, the carbon dioxide, the nitrogen is in the syringe, but the, car the, the copper will only react with the oxygen. So that oxygen, is taken into the copper so it's no longer in the gas syringe it's stuck onto the copper and because 21 centimeter cubes of it reacts with the copper that means there's 21 centimeter cubed less of it in the syringe but doesn't the oxygen experiment just show how much oxygen is needed to make copper oxide i mean yeah it kind of does but i mean it shows that and the fact that 21 centimetre cubed of 100 centimetre cubed of air is oxygen. Can we cahoot next time? Uh, if we get time, because we've only got 45 minutes sessions now, uh, it's unlikely we'll get time to, unfortunately. If I drank liquid ox oxygen, would I become Superman? No, it's, it's liquid oxygen. What did we just say it was? Um, minus 183 degrees um, that will freeze your internal organs and you will die um, about two years ago there's an example of a woman in Lancaster uh, a nightclub there did uh, a cocktail a drink that contained liquid nitrogen um, and she drank it too quickly it froze her insides and she lost her stomach her stomach was frozen and destroyed uh, bad times Oh, nice question. What replaces the oxygen higher up in a mountain? Um, the other things that are in the atmosphere, basically. It's just a different uh, distribution, we would call it. An interesting question has just come in. Why have we not adapted to use the nitrogen? Nitrogen is a pain. Nitrogen is really, really unreactive. The energy it requires to break the bond between the two little atoms of nitrogen is far too high for our body to be able to do. Okay, so nitrogen is too unreactive for us to use in a meaningful way in this format. Okay, we can make it into other formats and use it differently, um, but that's a little bit trickier. Interesting question. Does nitrogen have any specific purpose? Now, nitrogen is extremely important um, in the body and in organisms for making proteins. So, yes, nitrogen it has a very, very important use. Um, it is part of the building block for uh, the amino acids that we've discussed before, which then get together to form the proteins. In addition to that, it's used in the chemical industry um, as a coolant, but you can also make it to process to make different compounds. For example, trinitrotoluene, um, which is an explosive TNT. Oh, you lot have got some really good questions today. Uh, what would happen to us if the atmosphere was 100% oxygen? Um, we'd be in flames. So oxygen is extremely flammable. With just 20% oxygen, it's very easy for things to ignite. Um, with 100% oxygen, um, things would be spontaneously combusting. Um, so that would not be good. If we breathe in pure oxygen, um, you can get uh, too much of it and it causes lightheadedness. Yeah, oxygen is harmful in large doses. Uh, I forgot what honk was again, miss. Hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, honk! The elements needed for life. 
elements. If the distribution of elements is different in different places, how do they find the final figures of percentage? Um, it's an average. It's It's got to be an average. There'd be no way to do it any otherwise. If I did that experiment at the top of a mountain, would it be different? Yes, um, but only by a couple of centimetre cubed. It wouldn't be a lot of difference. Uh, would no other gas react with the copper? Um, other gases can react with copper, but oxygen will bond with it preferentially. <laughs> if I had to swim in liquid nitrogen, would it be a nip nippy? Uh, yeah, you'd die, you'd freeze. Is chemistry compulsory? Yes, it's science, you're doing GCSE in it. Um, so yeah, it's compulsory, but make sure that you're looking after yourself. Do it when it's good for you to do it. Is this a required practical? No, neither of them are required practicals, but they have come up before. Do you work out the volume of nitrogen at the end? Yes. Anyway, be gone, minions of science, be good. I'll see you another time.